Hi, this is Angel Jones. I love great conversations where life's journey is communicated not only through words, but tones and emotions. Explosive expressions that allow you to feel what they felt and learned. A fool learns only from his own mistake, while the wise learn from their own and from those others have made. Thanks for being here with us. Paco Maldonado, an electrical engineer with Sandia National Laboratories. Paco is an amazing individual. Paco, I had the opportunity to meet him through Aaron Walker, the community, and we are part of parcel of that where we share and help each other grow. What's interesting, I think, about Paco? Well, Paco posted where he is skiing down a mountain. We will have that in the show notes. Listen in to the conversation. Have fun. Good morning, good morning, Paco. How are you today? Hey, I'm great. How are you doing, Angel? I'm excellent. It's a great pleasure to have you on, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me. This is a great opportunity. Wonderful, wonderful. So tell us and our listening audience, which of your talents is responsible for us meeting? Hey, so so I would say uh, it's got to be my, my never give up attitude just to, to really keep working and uh, growing to reach my goals. And I, I think through that, I um, end up meeting a lot of people and interacting with a lot of, of great, wonderful people in, in different areas that I would have never expected before. Hmm. Who did you learn never to give up from? Oh, certainly from my dad. My dad, he's, uh, that, that guy uh, never gives up on anything that he wants. Hmm. Why will you continue to repeat this? And again, I'm saying it repetitively because I love it, right? That's my term as well. Why will you continue to repeat never giving up? Well, you know, uh, uh, by and large, by his example and, you know, discovering in my own life and seeing in in other people, uh, you know, this perseverance is really the key to success. It's just keeping on going, even uh, on the good days, on the not so good days. It's just keeping on plowing through it and uh, keeping your, your eyes on the prize. Yeah. Perseverance and persistence, you know also called faith (laughs) yes yes indeed it has a lot of different terms yes so tell us what is one thing other than never giving up that you've done consistently over the past three years so um consistently every day when i get up um what i try to do is get out of my comfort zone and learn new skills so um it's uh uh it's a challenge for sure uh, to try to push yourself to where you're uncomfortable. But uh, that, that is the area where, um, where I see the greatest growth and um, skill acquisition and just, uh, you know, that perseverance and that learning of everything that I want to uh, do in my life. Hmm, interesting. So how does that make you feel? Um, well, honestly, in the moment, a lot of times it uh, gives me a lot of nervous energy, but um, it also gives me a lot of drive and makes me just, it's just empowering um, when you, you set out and get into something a little bit uncomfortable and then you're able to attain that skill and uh, uh, build yourself to a new level that you didn't think you were going to be able to. Hmm. You know, I keep seeing that image of you skiing down um, that mountain. I'm not sure if you'll allow us to put that video and add it to our, the podcast just to let people have an insight of how athletic you are. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. So well, why would you suggest that someone do what you do in this situation? Well, you know, uh, uh, that perseverance thing, you know, to me, um, learning is growing. And, and if I'm not growing and I'm just stagnant, then, um, that, that to me is a, a pretty unfulfilled existence. So, um, uh, I, you know, from my, my standpoint, I would suggest it just cause this learning adaptation, um, it's amazing. All of the things, all of the people, all of the, the different, uh, things that come into your life. Uh, it's, it's just a game changer for me. Hmm. Enter into the time machine with me, Paco. What is your earliest childhood memory? So, uh, I, I don't know about earliest, but I'm going to say the, the childhood memory that stands out most to me um, was, uh, again, back to my dad. Um, we had a period um, where he was working in the town I was at, and he left the practice that he was in, and he wasn't allowed to work in that practice uh, in the city for two years. Uh, it's just part of the contract. So he moved away 
to a city five hours away from us, um, worked there every day during the week, and then every single weekend for two years he came back uh, to to see the family and hang out with everybody, and uh, that that imprinted on me pretty strongly. Um, you know his his core values, uh, family, dedication, discipline, that perseverance and persistence, just to um, to to never give up. But uh, you know also that it was family first, and you know that love of family really kept him going. I think, and uh, that really imprinted pretty heavily on me. Hmm. At what age were you at this point in time? You know, I was probably fourteen uh, ish, fourteen fifteen, hmm. so late middle school, early high school. And why do you think this memory is so clear? Uh, just just because I could see the... I, I knew how difficult it was. And uh, I, I, uh, the respect that I gained for um, understanding what this guy was going through, especially as I've grown older, I've grown to appreciate it even more. It was, uh, uh, boy, it's just monumental to me. It showed me that uh, if you want something bad enough, you can go out and do it. Yeah. So this is the declaration part, yes or no. Have you chosen someone to pass your skills to? Yes, absolutely. Are you my daughters? Sure, sure. Your I so are you married? You have daughters. Are you married? Yes, I am married. And how many children do you have? I have two two girls. Wonderful. Do you believe in God? I do, yes indeed. Your favorite song when you were twelve years old? Um this this is a time machine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite song back then, uh it still probably is today. Uh, you too. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. So tell me, tell me, tell me. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. I do. I have a small inner circle of friends. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day or three hours a week? Uh, it's closer to three hours a week. I don't. Uh, we watch a couple soccer games and that's about it. Is there anything you would like to share with our amazing listening audience in closing? Hey, you know, just uh, um, from my experience, man, never give up on, on, on what you believe in. And, uh, you know, if you want to get out there and do something, um, we all have the ability to do it. We can all find the resources to do it. We just got to uh, sometimes put our minds to it and get out of that comfort zone. Dig deep to find some of those answers. Hmm. Thank you very much for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Hey, this has been great. Thank you, Angel. My pleasure. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.